Welcome to K1 Grand Prix World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is K Festa 5 at the Yogi National First Gymnasium. We have Kyotaro there screaming in that photo, looking nice with his red hair, versus Shidenori Sakamoto at 128.20 kilos. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. <laughs> Sorry, I was so excited about um, uh, Sakamoto's red hair. Oh, and wait, like, oh yeah. 128 kg versus Kyotaro. We know him, he uh, <gasps> was a heavyweight at K1 heavyweights back in the day, went to boxing and now he's back in the K1 ring versus Hidenori Sakamoto. Actually, this is his very first K1 fight on uh, uh, that boxing, kickboxing background. Interesting. Oh, hey. yeah. Yeah. This is like a perfect opponent for Kyotaro. And why do you say that, Nick? You'll see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so we. I actually don't know the outcome of this fight, which is awesome. Uh, but I just like I know Kyoto's fighting style. Yeah. And watching someone who's actually a little bit shorter than himself, being that big and heavy, man, he's gonna use his skills for sure. Yeah. It's funny because they're almost about the same height, but there is that 24. Oh, 24 oh, kg uh, difference in weight there. It's crazy. <laughs> 100 and what? 28. 128. Kilos? Yeah. The day before, so it could be more today. Yes. I don't think he was cutting weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Kyotaro looks uh, a lot better in shape than he did last time he was on fire. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You see, you see, this is exactly what I was talking about. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like a wake up call. Oh, he's got that Captain America star in his face. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually a really beautiful color. It is. I don't know how he gets it. I have to ask him how he does his hair. He's got great combinations. I love it. Nice, nice. But how, how, would, how would you use that weight of 128 kgs, even this is a pure open weight? Uh, uh, Nick, and, and can you throw that weight around? Is, it, is it that simple? Well, he's not doing that. <laughs> okay, yeah. But yeah. you can see, I mean, this guy's got classical uh, kind of background for sure, the way he kicks like that. Sure. Um, if, if I could say anything, I would probably suggest that he actually went in and, and tried to push Kyotaro around. Right, right. Like, just use his weight. Yeah. Um, even if he gets a warning from the judge or something like that, don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Because the more you push him around, the more tired he's going to get. Right. And it's going to be heavy. It's like, like, you know, wrestling a sumo wrestler. Mm. Mm. If he does what he's doing now, he's going to be in trouble. Uh -huh. Because this is exactly where Kyotaro wants it. He can box him, he can kick him, he can do whatever he wants. So we do the last 10 seconds here of the first round. Oh. Uh, and uh, just sneak that one in before the bell went. Round one, Kotaro versus Sakamoto. Yeah, but you see what was really good about that? It's like Kotaro was not like getting overexcited. He was ah, keeping his calm right yeah. And he did sneak in a really good punch right at the end. Right at the end, yeah. Let's see some of that. Here we go. You know, in his uh, you know, kickboxing career, he's got 19 wins with 10 by like, way of knockout. Mm. Yes. Uh, only six defeats. And out of those 19 wins, he's actually fought uh, and beat the guards. Beat us, people. Ooh. Yeah. I think I actually saw that one, Nick. I actually didn't see it. I think I saw it. Wow. If you're going to yeah. have a claim to fame, that's definitely it. <laughs> yeah. We're talking legends here. Yeah, that star is actually, yeah, you, you've got the hair, pink hair and the yellow star thing happening. I watched him one time come out in a pink monkey suit. In a monkey suit? Okay. A full body monkey suit. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Into the right. ring and then he took it off in the ring. <laughs> okay. Just as well he took it off. His round two. Kyotaro and he did Nori Sakamoto. See that low kick that he just tapped on? Yeah. Yeah. Like he's actually been doing that since round one. Mm. Uh, ran not randomly, but uh, he's sneaking it in there. And, uh, I think a guy like uh, Sakamoto is actually not very strong against low kicks. Ah. That one. 
See, that's hurting. That's hurting for sure. God, yeah. And again. he's gonna do it again. Oh, <laughs> again. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> so up by those mice. Pain to it again. Pain to it again. Pain to it again. Let's see what more comes. Oh, tilt that off. Oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That is a karate kaiten domashi. Wow, beautiful. Of 128 kgs, if, if that yeah. contact, if that hit him, it should have been damaged. Oh, nice <laughs> 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 I'm just moving off. Is that low kick again? Oh! Wow. See, nice combination. Yeah, he got him right where he wants. Oh, Oi! Nice guys. Oi! Oh, there you go. I told you. If you fight someone like that, it's going to be dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Look at Mototo. Is he upstanding? Yes. Let's see what Mototo does. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. You've got plenty of time oh, to do yes. it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Wow. Yes. That was actually the time of the duty. Yeah. I, oh, man. Oh, he's taking bad punishment. Cooper's not going to let him go. Okay. Oh, he's to finish him off. Oh. Why is he still <laughs> not, not quite. Not quite. Oh. Almost. Donkey Kong punch. Oh. Oh. oh, it's painful to watch. You can hear him. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, oh. In, in a way, I'm happy for Sakamoto that the Kyoto, Kyotaro, the winner of this fight, yeah. uh, a little bit, him off. A little bit too tough for his own good there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a clear winner there by Kyotaro. And, uh, you know, I have to say, for his first um, K1 fight, I think he didn't already Sakamoto did. Pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely entertaining. I would like to see him come back. Um, I think maybe he should lose a little bit of weight though. Yes. Just yeah. a little bit. Just like a little maybe bit. Yeah. But there's some those nice um, kicks, really sneaky ones that came Yeah, out so imagine nowhere. what he can do at this size. Imagine yeah. what he feels like, you know, 15 kilos. Let's True. say it's 110 kilos at least, yeah. you know. How much more, you know, uh, flexibility and like just stamina he could get out of himself. But there's that finishing uh, yeah. touch there. Need to give this guy a nutrition plan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see wow. that low kick? Ah. Man, he's hurting him on that low yeah. kick. And it was it wasn't the only it was one of many low yeah. kicks in this fight. Ay, ay, ay. Two rounds there. I told you, just yes. watch this fight because yes. he's gonna do exactly yeah. that. <laughs> you're, you're the prophet today, Nick. <laughs> you're showing us the way. Yeah. And uh, it's coming true. It's scary enough, but um yeah, this is K1 people. There he is with the, the happy knockouts. Uh, we'll see more of them later on, definitely. This was the quarterfinal of the K1 Open Weight Tournament. Yes. At the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan K Festa at the Yogi National First Gymnasium. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.